Hey there YouTube, Veganomics here. So, today I'm going to show you how to propagate uh, mulberry by cutting. So I'm going to take a cutting right now. What you're going to need for cutting, a pair of scissors. Uh, now the type of mulberry that I will be taking cutting from is called the Everbearing Black Mulberry Tree. Okay, Its uh, Latin name is Morus Nigra. Morus Nigra. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it right now. So this is my tallest specimen that I have, my tallest and largest um, mulberry tree that I have. From this tree alone, I've taken more than, I'm ta I've taken 15 cuttings, all of which have gone on and sprouted new leaves and are growing in the ground, okay? So what I'm going to do is encourage more vertical growth right now rather than horizontal growth. So what I'm going to do is take this right here, cut it right here at an elbow, okay? I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> All right, so I'm here at my propagation station, I like to call it. Um, I've got about four going right now, four mulberries that are just um, being propagated. See, I put these ones in pots because they're so small, but this one can go right into the ground, okay? Ooh, I think I just felt a raindrop. Anyway, <clears throat> these red ones here are not quite ripe, but I'm gonna eat them anyway. They're a little sour. But basically your next step is to take scissors and cut off all the leaves. You might be like, hey, that's crazy, but no. You're gonna go ahead and cut off all the leaves. The reason why is because when you when you encourage growth, the more leaves and the more matter that this thing has, the harder, the more energy um, the plant's gonna have to put into maintaining that. So the the fewer leaves that you have, actually, the better. Okay. Now we don't want to compromise the. Sorry, I'm trying to do this all with one hand. We don't want to compromise the stem here. We do want that. So I'm just right below the different leaves. I'm going to cut them all, most of them all off. The berries will just fall off, so we don't really need to do anything with them. So now, we've got something that kind of looks like this. Ooh, I've got a few leaves that I forgot. Okay, so now we've got something that looks like this. If you have one or two leaves, it's not going to do anything, but I will end up cutting like the bigger ones off at least. Okay, now, Take this, we're gonna get some good potting soil, and you're gonna follow me. Okay, so this is actually the first cutting I took. It was about this big, and you can see all the new plant growth here. I've tied it with a with two bread, uh, those bread rings that, that come on the bread, uh, twist twisties. So I've tied it to a bamboo pole, stuck it in the ground. Uh, this is probably a month's worth of growth, maybe a little bit more. Um, Mulberries are very, very, they grow very well and they are considered invasive. But that's a good thing because we love mulberries. Next, you're gonna pick a spot in your yard where you have a few feet of room. Now, I know that long term, this is not gonna be able to happen because these trees are gonna grow to be like 30 feet tall. So eventually, I'll do the same thing, take cuttings, move the cuttings, sell the cuttings, whatever. Um, but for the next five years, these will be totally fine growing next to each other and giving me plenty of mulberries. So, next thing is pick our spot. We're gonna dig some of the sand out and I'm gonna replace it with potting soil. Okay, I literally just took one shovel's worth out. So now I'm gonna replace what I took out with sand, uh, in sand, with good Canadian potting soil that I have here. I'll tell you the brand and everything if you'd like. It is Lambert potting mix. I think this is organic as well. 100% organic. Yeah. So let's see. All right, so as you can see, I've replaced the sand with potting soil. Now this potting soil has some of that white, I forget what it's called, but it's basically to give fluff to it so that there's more, it can breathe easily. Uh, and that's what we want. We want it. We want this soil to drain pretty well right now. 
So I, that's why I didn't do it very deep. I mean, mulberries will grow right out of sand, but I want to give it a good head start. So let's go ahead and put some potting soil down, which I already did. Now I have to get it wet. All right, now with my soil nice and wet, uh, I probably put it on the shower setting for about 20 seconds. Uh, what we need to do now is take a look at the end of this cutting. Now, I'm gonna pretend like this is a carrot and I need to shave probably, or uh, what do you do with a carrot? You peel a carrot. So I'm gonna peel about an inch down from an, from an inch at the end to about here. I'm gonna peel until I have green growth around the whole thing. The reason I do that is because this bottom inch or so is going to become the new roots. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this. I have a tripod outside now. So take the end, you're gonna take your scissors, and you're just going to take one side, open it, and just sort of peel it. Okay, you can see, I don't know if it's zooming in or if it's focusing, but I'm gonna do this all the way all the way around, about half an inch to an inch from the end of the cutting. Okay. You know it's good if it's got white or green. If it's brown, that means it's dead. So I know it's alive just merely by the fact that this is green or white. So now what I can literally just do is put this right into my new soil. Okay, so here I go. I'm just going to stick this in the ground. Okay, and I'm going to push it down pretty deep. Okay, we do want it to be able to stay and not fly away or anything like that. Okay, I need to... It's a little looser than I would like, so I'm going to... Hold on. It's a little looser than I would like, so I'm going to try again. There, it's a little bit better. Now, I'm gonna press down pretty, pretty firmly, and I'm going to water this in again, and then literally all I need to do for the next probably week is just sprinkle this with again with the shower setting for about 30 seconds once each night or each morning until it shows new growth and it's going to show new growth in about three days okay the berries will probably ripen and fall off and then I will get new leaves coming up so I can show you an example of what that looks like if we turn around this is what happens we start to get new growth we start to get new flowers and new berries forming down here you can see and then we've successfully cloned our original tree we have a clone this is a clone now if i were to take one berry and plant it take the seeds from the berry plant that you wouldn't get fruit for two years two or three years but by taking a cutting of mature wood from a mulberry tree that's already fruiting okay then that cutting is already in the fruiting stage so really we're kind of tricking nature so this has been how to propagate the ever bearing black mulberry i hope you enjoyed it okay one small actually two small things i like to put pavers or bricks around my stuff so that when i'm mowing the lawn eventually it's been the dry season for a while i haven't mowed in a very long time but when i do eventually mow i don't want to mow this mow this guy over so i put bricks up here to kind of remind me hey there's something around here that you don't want to mow another thing that's very important for moisture you want to take some mulch and put it on top of your potting soil so i'm going to do that now so now that I've mulched this, I'm going to water it again just for about 20 seconds. This is going to ensure that moisture stays in and does not get evaporated on the surface of the soil. So thanks again, guys. Hope you liked this video. Give it a like, comment, share, subscribe. I really appreciate that. And, uh, and I hope you can get your hands on some mulberry. Um, I bought that tree over there for 32 bucks and successfully I've been able to now propagate 16 cuttings. So from that I will eventually have 16 trees. So you spend, that's literally two bucks a tree. <laughs> so 
I mean, guys, once you know how to propagate things, you buy the plant once, you buy the cactus once, you buy the papaya, you throw the seeds out, whatever it might be, you buy it once, and then you have plants for a long time. Bananas have little pups that come out, okay? You can take a shovel to them and then move them around. Once you know how to do that, you're set. Thanks for watching. Make your dakes always be dank. May your bananas always be ripe. And peace.